Yo, what's up guys, Eugene Inc. here, and welcome to a video all about Scorpion, and how to beat him. He is one of the most difficult characters to play in this game, a lot of people are saying he's one of the best. So, I thought I would help you out with some tips on doing your best to beat him. If you enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing and commenting with uh, who you kind of struggle with, and we'll, I'll be sure to go through the whole cast eventually, I'll try to prioritize those that seem to be a little bit more popular, but I figured we'd start out with some zero Scorpion. So Scorpion can kind of be difficult because of his teleport. I mean, he can kind of just jump around, and if you jump at him, he can air-to-air -air you. Uh, if you do anything, he can just kind of teleport into combos. So you have to be careful that you don't throw out anything that's that takes a long time to recover. So for example, throwing out projectiles is kind of, unless you have a really quick one, not the greatest idea against Scorpion because he can just see it, jump, teleport, punish, and you're done for. So you kind of want to... I try and play in this range with Scorpion a little bit. Um, you have to be careful of his back two too. Uh, however, that... Or sorry, just back two, I believe it is. Um, it's a little bit of a tight punish, I believe, at uh, minus 10? Minus 10, is that correct? I'm not sure if that's correct. I do know that you can punish it. Let's, let, let's test this out here. Yeah, easy punish. There you go. There's 500 damage for him trying to do back two. <laughs> Obviously not every character is going to hit like that, but, you know, I just... Brock is just so satisfying to, to punish with, because like, oh yeah, you did something that's slightly unsafe. Here's 500 damage for you, right in the gut. So he does have some good staggers with 2-1 and 2-1-2. 2-1-2 is one that you really want to deal with, because it's plus 7 on block, which is really crazy. Having said that, you can flawless block it, and uh, and punish. It is one of the easier things to flawless block in the game, although again that's a little bit more of a, a high level uh, strategy. So the gap is between this, the two, or sorry, the one and the two, the last the last hit. So after you block the two one, let go a block, and then tap block just before he hits you with that, with that punch, and then you can go into your up two. Uh, I've noticed sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. It's like a 70% hit rate though and it might depend on your up to the hitbox and stuff like that uh, but then you can go into a full combo and punish him because otherwise you're just eating uh eating plus seven uh, another idea you can do if that flawless block doesn't work is just take the last hit of that string because it pushes you away so then you don't have to deal with the plus seven you are taking a little bit of damage but uh you know it's a little bit better than than <laughs> dealing with plus seven sometimes, depending on whether you can afford it. But uh, if you end up flawless blocking it, here's a just just to show you what it would look like. So there you go. So I had him do the uh, two one two, and then immediately block afterwards. So you can see that the flawless block did catch him on that one. See if I can do it again here. Again, that is a little bit more of an advanced technique, so you're going to want to practice that a little bit, but that's an option against that string right there. So, Of course, the teleport is punishable as well. In this variation that we have, the Reborn, he can cancel it, which is really annoying and stupid. <laughs> so then it's like a three-way guess of whether he cancels it, whether he does just the single teleport, or whether he amplifies it. So you may be able to do something like just like throw out this move, for example, just to bait his movement, and then he's like, oh, he did something. So he teleports goes to the other side, but little do you know, you've recovered quick enough to block it, and he's already committed to amplifying it, and then you can punish it with whatever you want. When you're playing against Scorpion, a lot of his things, like his cancel, his teleport, they use a certain amount of meter. So, paying attention to his amplified meter and his defensive meter is super, super important, because then you can sell, you can tell, and maybe with the teleport, that kind of eliminates the guessing game. So if he has no defensive meter, you know that he can't cancel it, and then you're either dealing with the regular teleport or the amplified teleport. If he has no um, offensive meter, then you know that his only option is either to commit to an unsafe teleport or cancel it with a defensive meter. And if he has neither, then you know you can just punish the teleport. You know, just regular punish, because you can't amplify it, you can't cancel it. So, I find that, at least at a casual level, a lot of the Scorpion players tend to be using a lot of these more. And if you punish a Scorpion player, Sometimes they'll do the breakaway, and then they have no defensive meter, so then you know that they can't, for a little while anyways, 
cancel their teleport. They have to commit to something. So meter management is super important when it comes to defending against yourself and understanding Scorpion as a player. Forward four, two, three. Both of these are technically punishable if you have a seven or six frame move, but it's tough to react to because you can either do this, which is minus 10, or you can do this, which is minus eight. So if you're a command grab character, like in Baraka's lunge variation, sometimes maybe just doing your command grab uh, because they'll be negative enough that if they block, it'll hit them. You do have to be careful if they mash down one afterwards, which some people are crazy enough to do, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, if you look at the frame data for those both those two moves, minus 10 if he staggers it, minus 8 if he finishes the string. There's some weird pushback with that too, so just keep that in mind. Um, you don't really want to let them get away with that. Other than that, he's uh, pretty safe. On... Oh, that reminds me. This string right here. I believe the stagger on both of these is unsafe. Minus 17, or if he commits to it, it's minus 15. So, these are another two things that he'll use. Mid-low. So, doesn't matter which one he does. Sometimes they will cancel it into the teleport. Uh, and they'll, then they'll cancel the teleport. Spear is unsafe. Punish it. He can do it at, like, max range, which can be kind of annoying. Sometimes you might be able to punish with a projectile or something like that, but I don't know. That's basically how to beat Scorpion in a nutshell, guys. There's not really too much. He's a very strong character, so if you're having trouble, just maybe go into the lab and practice some of these things. And, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, because we make videos all the time, and leave a like, because it really helps me out. Hashtag Big Dink Energy, and we'll see all you guys in the next video.